so this is me, Andrea. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this channel, we talk business, mindset, ed tech, teaching, online teaching, and anything that interests me for that matter. So if any of those topics interest you, then consider subscribing. So today, I am recording this vlog because I am going to visit an art gallery here in, here in Aberdeen, a city in Scotland. I've been staying here for around... Uh, a week now and uh, yeah so I went to visit the gallery like two days ago but I didn't have enough time to go through the sec the first floor and the second floor I just covered the ground floor and um, yeah so we're going to do that today and I'm also going to sh I'm also going to be showing you around one of the like I'm not gonna say like the most famous shoe but I'm pretty sure it is because there are lots of like shopping centers um, not like shopping centers, more like centers yeah, that has like that, that have like lots of shops. But yeah, I'm gonna be showing you that. So I'd like you to come with me. First, I'm still in my pajamas, and do not judge. It's like 2:30 p.m. Um, but yeah, I'm on holiday, so uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna change, and then I'm gonna go out. And I should be here by five, not because I have something to do. But because I have to walk the dog that I am currently looking after. I don't know if he's here. Archer. Archer. Come here. So he's a big boy. Ah, oh, look at that boy. Look at that beautiful. Okay, so he's Archer. Um, he's not my dog. I'm just looking after him. But yeah, I have to be here by 5 so that we can go for a walk and he can pee and poop. So that's the plan for today. I hope you can join me and uh, yeah, we'll be showing you around in a second. Don't forget to subscribe. All right, so now I'm a bit far from my place. I can show you around. Um, so I've been here for the past, like I've been here for a week, but I came here like to the UK, I'm pretty sure like 10 days ago. I was like two days in London before coming to Aberdeen. And what you see right there is the train station but on the other side like next to it there's like the uh, Aberdeen's bus station um, and over like that there is like super um, a big shopping center you can find um, Sada and H&M and like many other shops but yeah so I'm going to the art gallery now and I'm probably gonna pay a visit <laughs> uh, and I'm probably going to go to Primark or I don't know if I want to buy something because like to be honest I'm just here with a carry-on and I do not want to spend a lot of money buying things that then are not going to fit in my luggage so we'll see what we can do so the other day again I told you that I had already been there um, at the art gallery so I already have a map I brought, uh, I brought it because I didn't want to buy a new one and yeah, we're gonna see how that goes. but there are lots of places like this around the city it's so beautiful thankfully we got like a really um, sunny day today because it was raining um, <laughs> quite recently it has been raining quite recently so I'm really happy that now it's sunny now, do not get me wrong I love rainy days I prefer them However, I do think that some of the pictures that I have taken look better when it's sunny than when it's raining because otherwise it just looks really gloomy. But I think that also adds up to like the, I don't know how beautiful the city is. I think that it's a beautiful city. And that's the art gallery. And we're here. This is the art gallery. Oh, 
free you don't have to pay you can donate if you want to um but yeah it's up to you to the art gallery i'm gonna show you a bit about what i filmed in the like souvenirs um in the shop but in the gift shop but uh yeah so this is one of the exhibitions this is like a temporary exhibition and i'm gonna be showing you around some of the ones that i really liked that screen is actually interactive you can find out about many things but just like touching and choosing i'm gonna show you so touch to start Let's see this one. Let's choose this one. And if you click on one of these, you will find like information. It's just a spoon. Yeah. And then you can like them. And touch it. Let's choose another one. So it's like an Instagram, but for museums. They also give you like these chairs if you want to sit. So that's great. I found this to be like very modern because I didn't when I came here like when I came to the UK we didn't they didn't have this so now if you don't have cash then you just have to put your card there and you will be donating pretty impressive so this is actually the exhibition that I really like one of the things that I liked best was the fact that they give you like this book thing where you can like read information about the displays and like everything one of the things that i liked about this exhibition is the fact that there are some like interactive things for example this um, about like colors so you're supposed to like push both of them and you'll see like red and blue violet and they have all of this you can find the many tools um, that and like things that they used when uh, eating and some of them are gorgeous and really well preserved and also there are some like questions that you're asked to so that's what I, I like about this, like it's very interactive and it makes you like really um, be interested in what they are displaying. For example, we have this and they ask you these questions like choose one, is it heavy or light, what color is it, what shape is it, is the surface smooth or textured and like these are things that you could just grab and see for yourself. This is another display that I really enjoyed. So you have here, you have the objects uh, that you have here and you just have to touch uh, the one that you want to like learn more about and then it gives you information. And you can go back, choose another one and then you read all the information that you need to know. I didn't have enough time to like um, walk around the first floor and the second floor, the only room that I got to explore on the first floor was the room that was dedicated to uh, women and we're gonna go there again because I wanted to show you that but then I'm gonna go to like new ones so beautiful and you also have an app that you can download and then like look for uh, like find extra information about 
Um, what you can find here. So these are some of the dresses that women used to like wear. And here we have a portrait. And this is what I liked. So this was this suffragette, suffrage tea set. And this are like the badges and the pins that they used. As I said, this was like very interactive, so you can read letters. Or listen to them, but the sound is like quite low. Here you can like touch some of the fabrics that were widely used during that time and play a bit with beads. Here we have this exhibition which basically is about the the people who fought in the First World War. And we have these medals, we have this like tablet where you can just choose the medal that you wanna learn more about. I'm gonna choose three, you read it, and then you can get back to it. And then whenever you see this, it's meant for you to like grab it and put it on your ear. I don't know if you can hear that. In this area, you can dress up and take a photo and then you'll be here, so I'm gonna do that.
these are my two photos they kind of like move to the next frame it's, it's beautiful and this is the terrace look at that view The other day I posted this on my Instagram stories, which by the way, if you're not following, why the hell are you not following me? Go follow me. I'm gonna leave the I'm gonna leave the link in the description, but I share with you this. And this. So it's almost empty. When I enter like a different bathroom, I was able to see like they had like sanitary pads, team ponds, and like they were just the air for free you could just go ahead and grab them i'm not gonna grab them because i don't need them but good initiative and now we are gonna go to a different place so i'm inside trinity center which is like a shopping center more or less and i'm gonna show you around a bit so we have primark this shop there's also a card factory which in my opinion is like, I mean, I wouldn't buy cards, uh, but people here do, so. And they also have a flying tiger, which I absolutely love. I love that place. I'm gonna go. A chair for your phone. That price, I really don't know. Like, they have like great stuff and it's super cheap. This shop is also amazing. They sell very beautiful things, especially like if you need to like buy a present or something. They have lots of stuff and they have lots of cards too. And that was all for today's video. I hope you liked it. Make sure to subscribe, like and comment. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.